The Girls' Education Challenge is a programme funded by the UK's Department for International Development. It targets improved learning outcomes amongst a million marginalised girls in developing countries. And in this short video, we provide an overview of some of the brilliant work that the programme is funding here in Uganda. Cheshire Services Uganda is supporting persons with disabilities in Uganda. And with the GC project, CSU is supporting over 1,300 uh, 1, girls with disabilities in over 100 schools. I did not go to school because my mother didn't have money and she said that even my hearing, I cannot hear well, so the teacher, it's useless for me to go to school while her school fees is, is spoiled. It made me feel like, like I'm not important because all, all the other neighbors, children, had to go to school and my mother refused me to go to school. Okay, before the project, this project came in, some of the teachers were not really comfortable with the children with disabilities because we did not find out, we did not have the methods and techniques of teaching such children. Teacher helped me by Give, taking me to hospital and they gave me these things to, to help me um, hear well. When I don't have my hearing aid, I can't hear well. Now we can see a change in girls in such a way that now they are confident with the teachers. And as they are learning, they are confident. They can talk about to themselves. They are free. In Uganda, the GEC projects are working very well across the country. They are focusing on marginalized girls who have either dropped out of school, who are on the verge of dropping out of school, who have different challenges in getting to school and staying in school. Ecofuel Africa is a social enterprise that converts locally sourced waste into clean cooking fuel that people can use to cook instead of depleting forests for charcoal and firewood. By providing Ecofuel Africa briquettes to marginalized mothers, we help them earn an income because they sell those briquettes. And with that income, they pay school fees for their daughters and buy scholastic materials. And that's the link between this project and girls' education. <laughs> Abana bawala, abalenzi bali mukaga, basoma. Okubali nata kare luli nalinga nkalu bilizi wanyo mukusoma. Nyo bali nata andika project yenu ya eco fuel. Kati ebintu vinyo angu hida. Nasi nata andika project yenu. Kusoma kwa abana kwa alipu vinyo. Nga school fees zi nkalu bilida. Kubana li sina mulimuguri ya onti kwenkola. Nga njoza angoye, bongama nti njoleza lugeru wanga nkoleza. Before my mom gets a kiosk here, I was, I was being chasing away from the school to come back home to get the school fees, to get the kiosk materials. But now she got a kiosk, she's selling the shako, I'm getting enough school fees and, en and enough materials, school materials. For the Girls' Education Challenge program, we work with Crane Works with Viva to find girls who have dropped out of school and get them through a catch-up education for six months at the Creative Learning Center and take them back, work with their parents to take them back to either mainstream primary school or mainstream secondary school or vocational school. <laughs> Kati tato rafa, nembera ni mama, nensoma, paka mp6. Ratu ka mp6, nengi marako ngangina mp7. Mama na ngamba, ojiro uko mao, sente ziwedeo. Winaleke rao gena kusomero na ulira uvi, ni nkaba, ni ngamba mama wachiri hiya. Wina ngamba nange siri na chakola, ojiro otu ulao. Wina jamsiero si, na igo kusoma, okukolo obukomo, nekele si. 
Najanga simanyi kusau ndinga zino nyukuta katinzimanyi. Wetubikola ezo tubabatitia wafea bagenji ba enzo kujane babi gula kati ezo sente nga baziteka kubanga ze zige ndo tuya ambanga tuzeyo kuso. We've come a long way on GEC. I'm very proud of what's been achieved through the programme so far, both here in Uganda and in the 17 other countries in which we're currently operating. However, we're on a journey and we're not there yet, but, but I'm determined that together with DFID and all of the other partner organisations who are involved with us in the delivery of the programme, that we'll get there and we'll make a significant impact on the life chances and the education outcomes of a million marginalised girls. That's a great reason to get up in the morning and it's a great reason to work together.